Hello, I'm Lena Taro, and I'm going to be showing you a few of the features that I really love about the Practice of Statistics 5th edition ebook. I've been using the ebook all this year, and last year I used the 4th edition ebook. Let's see what the students would see when they open their book. So they click on Go, and this takes them to a main page where they can return to the last visited section or go to a specific chapter. Here we can see that the students would have this note that they could access. It's a public note, and I created the note. As long as the student subscribes to my annotation set, they will get that note. So in settings here, notice there's an annotation ID number. The student types that in within their book in the same area to subscribe to the annotation set. They would just subscribe to an annotation set, type in this ID number, and voila, this would appear within their book. Let's see what I have here. I actually have a PDF that I uploaded for the students to use as a reading guide. Let's see what other features are on this book. Oh look, here I added a note. Let's see how easy it is to add a note. I can change it to different colors. I can make it public if I want it to be shared with my students. Private if I want to type a note just for myself and make a note to myself that we need to spend more time on this section next year or this problem is very difficult, just like you would write in your actual hard copy of your book. Or I can even make it a shared note, which means that not only can I write in the note, but students could write in the note. So if you wanted to have more of a discussion format within the book, you could do that right within the book. So let's just click on save for that. Within that note, you could also include links to web pages. Uh, you could import images and you can also import documents, PDFs or Word documents. Let's look a little bit further into the book. Notice that if we click on a word, we have the glossary show up, which is kind of a nice handy feature instead of having to flip to the back of the book. And notice if I click on this, we have the actual worked example of this particular problem that will play for Hi, the students. In this example, we'll explore a discrete random variable. Baby's APGAR score is the sum of the ratings on each of five students. So notice that it's closed captioned so that students um, that are hearing disabled could actually read the video and follow along the video. So that's a nice feature to have. Notice with the check for understandings, the answers are right here for the students to check. And that's also true within the exercises. They can look at the answers. Further along, they could watch a worked example video within the questions here. Hi, this is Jason Molesky. In this example, we'll explore a discrete... Looks like Jason has a lot of videos within this particular book. And let's take a look at another feature that I like, and that is the technology corner video. So let's take a look at calculating a probability. There are uh, links to information related to the TI-89 and the HP Prime calculator. So there's information there for the students. But let's take a look at an actual Technology Corner video. This one's for the TI-84 uh, that we'll take a look at. Hello, I'm Lena Taro. I'll be showing you how to calculate binomial probabilities on the TI-8384 calculator. Let's say we have a family that has five... Let's scroll through this a little bit more so you can see the calculation. And we're looking for up to three successes. There is an easier way to do this if we have the stat wizard turned on. This is for operating systems 2.55 and so that's the technology corner uh, video um, and I really love this feature because then when students don't remember how to do a particular command on their calculator they can just reference it in their book they don't have to ask you and you don't have to waste class time reviewing that with them. So that's a nice feature to have. So there's a lot of things I really love, as I said, about this ebook. Um, also within this ebook, if there's a link to a particular applet, um, the students can go straight there. Let me uh, show you where we can find one of those in Chapter 7. So here I am in Chapter 7, Section 2, working with sample proportions and the sampling distribution of p-hat. Notice within this section, there is an applet here, and so you can click on this particular link and it will take you to the applet and it describes the applet and students can then investigate this particular applet. Um, this one is talking about when 
the distribution would be normal. Clearly this is skewed. And as we add more and more trials, we can see that the distribution becomes more and more normal. And so you can talk about the conditions for um, using a binomial distribution, excuse me, using a normal distribution to approximate a binomial distribution. So um, I think that this book has a lot of wonderful features. Let me show you one last thing here, and this is within the teacher's uh, resources, the adopted resources. Within the adopted resources, there are free response practice questions for each chapter. There are tests and quizzes. There are PowerPoint slides if you'd like to use those. There's even professional development videos to help you understand each chapter, and also videos that describe the various activities that are focal points within each chapter. So I, as I said, I really, really love this book, and I hope you see that it would be a great resource for your students.